Well, it's finally here y'all. The thing that I thought would never happen actually came to be. For the first time ever, we got a legitimately hard final boss in a 3D Mario game, specifically in Bowser's Fury. And no, I'm not talking about the normal final boss that you battle when you get 50 cat shines, because that fight was relatively moderate. No, I'm talking about the true final boss in this game, which you can only face after 100% completing it and going back into the final fight. Hey, what's going on y'all? I'm Rumble Gaming, the home of the gaming, and obviously I'm putting a huge spoiler warning here. If you haven't played through all of Bowser's Fury yet and don't want to get spoiled on the end fight or completion reward, I recommend stopping this video right now and finish watching it after you beat the game. But for those of you who have played through all of Bowser's Fury, or just don't care about spoilers at all, let's talk about the hardest boss in the mainline Mario games to date. When you finally get all 100 of the cat shines in Bowser's Fury, not only will you unlock a photo at the end of the credits celebrating your success, but you'll also unlock a much harder version of the final boss fight with Fury Bowser. Now when you go into this battle by grabbing the Giga Bell, Fury Bowser's health will be completely regenerated and extended for the first part of the fight. Not only that, but he'll actually change into the true Bowser, like oh boy hot mama is that an insane design right there. And you thought the normal version of Fury Bowser was epic? Psh, nah 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 nah. This right here is easily the sickest version of Bowser we've ever seen, period. Bowser's new design in this final rematch isn't just for looks though, as it'll bring the pain with a much longer fight and attacks that are faster than usual. You'll be fighting as Giga Cat Mario, while Bowser will swap between attacks such as shooting a huge fire beam, tucking to his shell and charging straight at you, shooting spike pillars around the arena, and dive bombing you multiple times, sending shockwaves out with each impact. All of these attacks are massive, and since you're also slow and fairly floaty in your Giga form, it's quite hard to avoid these attacks for the duration of the fight. The hardest attack to avoid taking damage to here is the spike pillars raining from above, as they can easily damage you at the top of the screen if you jump up right before they spawn in. You can slowly drain Bowser's health by either throwing the spike pillars at him, ground pounding his show when he's upside down, or clawing him with a Giga Bell power up when he pauses his attack standing up. Now, in the original Fury Bowser fight, the three Giga Bells that you could get on Lake Lapcat would all respawn after a certain amount of time, basically allowing you to get infinite power ups during the fight. However, in this rematch, the Giga Bells do not respawn, and you already use one of them to initiate the fight. So if you end up losing the cat suit three times, you won't be able to get it back and you're going to be in a world of hurt. Plus, Bowser's health bar in this form is much bigger than usual. It's going to take way more than three hits to defeat him. This section of the fight is insanely cool and crazy long. It can easily take 5 to 9 minutes to take Bowser down, but that's not even the final part of the fight, as once you knock him all the way down, Bowser will come back in his regular mega form and seal all three of the Giga Bells in a glass bubble, preventing you from becoming the giant cat. Now you are required to chase Bowser down with Plessy around the lake, and this right here is easily the hardest part of the fight and what makes this boss such a challenge. As he jumps away from your charges, Bowser will continuously swap between three different attacks. At times, he'll spew out a giant beam of fire, and other times he'll shoot out tons of spike pillars to travel across the water straight at the player. After using these two attacks, Giga Bowser will always immediately use his third attack where he combines the two previous ones together, now sending out the spike pillars and breathing fire at the same time. This combination is so gosh darn annoying and crazy hard to avoid, as many times jumping over the spikes will send you straight into the fire, or diving underneath the fire will send you right into the spike. Bowser will pull out this attack multiple times in between each hit of damage, and the more hits Bowser takes, the deadlier this attack becomes. The spikes will become faster and more numerous, transforming from a scattered pattern to straight on rows coming directly towards you. And to top it all off, Bowser will start spewing rings of fireballs in addition to everything else once you get into the latter half of the fight. All of the attacks here are crazy hard to dodge. There are times where you'll almost be guaranteed to take damage in this fight, as the pillars and fire just come out so fast that you barely have time to avoid all of them. This is especially true when Bowser shoots his beam of fire right as you're going up a ramp, as there's nothing you can do to avoid that except going off of it and missing your chance to damage him. And in order to actually defeat this Bowser fight, you'll need to hit the cage of Giga Bells four times in total, with the fourth hit being the hardest to deal unscathed, as Bowser will throw out every single move he has in a last effort to kill the player. Now, is this the hardest boss battle Nintendo's ever done? Pfft, nah, not even close. Will you end up dying around 10 to 20 times before you beat it? Probably not. But to be honest, it's still easily the hardest Bowser fight that we've seen so far in a mainline Mario game. 
and that's why I felt like I needed to cover it. It's very, very rare we get anything other than an easy final Bowser fight. So this battle knocked the socks off of me when I first went into it. I mean, comparing the God Slayer Bowser fight to the Bowser fight in Super Mario Galaxy 2 is like comparing night and day. It's really that much of a difference. Not only is this the first final 3D Bowser fight to have two completely separate battles, each with multiple phases, but Bowser's speed and attacks as well as the overall length of the fight make it an actual challenge. And, in my opinion, that second part of the battle makes it the hardest fight period from any of the 3D Mario games. Here's hoping that we get more amazing fights like this one moving forward. Anyways y'all, that was just a quick video covering the sickest and hardest Bowser fight that we've gotten so far. I didn't really want to do a boss ranking of Bowser's Fury since there's only 4 unique bosses, but I did want to make this video to not ignore the amazing Bowser fight that this game has. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, it would seriously help out a bunch. Anyways, with that all said y'all, Granville Gaming, over and out.